What's up, agents? And welcome back to another division video. We are in New York for a change, and today we are testing out a dev build, and that's not something I think I've ever said before on social media. And I really hope he doesn't mind me doing this. Uh, Palier has posted a tweet the other day, or an X, whatever it is we're calling it now, and we're just going to read this out. He put, "Just beat all the warning control points on solo heroic without firing a single bullet and no wipes." I need to try this with missions and obviously I think you know as you can see in his tweet there a few people's interest peaked uh, and that's because he's literally said a few things there that are a little bit strange when it comes to the division he didn't fire a single bullet and you know it's like well, what is he doing what, how is he doing this this sorcery and so me and a couple of other people asked him you know can we can we have the build and very very kind of him he posted the build just earlier on today i spent this evening farming the pieces up it was super super hard i really didn't think it was going to happen but thank you to ritzy poot yet again with the drops managed to get the chest piece and i have managed to put it all together so as you can see in the X here, he was running demo. He's running a hardwired mask, glove, knees, and a backpack for the short circuit talent and the feedback loop. Uh, he's actually running a China light vest with explosive delivery. Uh, he's got around 50% cooldown reduction. Now I don't know if my stats are going to be exactly the same. Uh, I've kind of put you know skill haste and skill damage in where, where I thought was appropriate, and I'll show you that in a little bit. Uh, he's using the waveform exotic, the custom card. And he's using seekers and uh, a turret and i also must clear my interest pete at this point anyway because i i love seekers but they've just never been you know the greatest tool in the game um but you know they're always okay you know they do the job so i was super excited uh, when i saw this now he also said his kind of strategy was this was at the start of combat he throws seeker an enemy to get the explosive delivery uh, and spread the seeker mines out and then immediately after he throws the turret which then will give him the Seekers back because of hardwired. And he just kind of rotates that over again. You can see there, he says, throw Seekers again, disassemble the turret, which removes the Seeker cooldown again, throw Seekers, and then that removes the turret cooldown, throw the turret, and you can just repeat, you know, forever, right? So, sounds absolutely great. So, all right, so we're going to rock up at the Celebration Hotel and see how we get on. There's a lot of action in New York. As you can see, I can see some enemies coming from down here. I've not even started the control point yet, so we do need to be a little Lost bit careful, and uh, it's just, you know that we don't get ourselves blown up. So we are gonna just kind of get rid of these guys. I feel like they might ruin our day. Alright, great. A little bit of a hardwired cooldown. I'm not really sure where to plant myself for this, so we'll start we'll start kind of here. Uh, we'll call in the allies. We'll throw out the seekers. Reinforcements in route. I dropped them by accident. Good start. I'll just pull out there for now. Get a little bit closer. I'm not going to use me, me gun. Um, just uh you know, obviously I can use the gun to make myself more powerful, but we're not gonna do that. Obviously you could use you know you could use the capacitor and make yourself more powerful. But uh yeah, we're not gonna do that for now. Because this is not about speed running or anything like that, it's just literally seeing if the the build works. So far, it is looking like a dream. Like you can almost just sit behind the turret, never mind the seekers. Let's cancel this. The hardwired cooldown is on. I'm just gonna let that go. See if we can just get it just in time. Yes, we did. Perfect. Throw this one back out. Oh, it's not, it's not doing it because of the top of the taxi. 
Oh, that's fine, that's fine. There we go, let's get rid of that. I mean, it's just lovely hardwired, it really is. Is he still alive? No. Alright, now we're in a way better position. Now all the enemies are all kind of... So oh, high. Language, please. Huh? Turret just puts in the work. Like, it really does. Turret, please kill this man that's right next to me. Detected. Thank you. Are they all really far away up there? The, the cooldowns are pretty low anyway, so you see there I've messed up my, my hardwired. I'm only waiting three seconds at this point for my, my turret to come back. And then that refreshes again the Seeker Mines. And I can just kind of sit at this point. Well, let's get ourselves a bit a bit closer. We're not interested in any R and K. Let's go in the hotel so we can listen to some of the lovely music at the same time. Because of bugged out, I think. We don't have to worry too much about that timer because the minute we do that, we're good. Big chilling. Oh, I see, cause out. Sometimes they get shot. Sometimes they don't. We can cancel our turret. Bring the seekers straight back. And we can kind of choose now. Where they'll use the seekers and just wait, which you, you might as well because the cooldown is that short. And then we'll cut that cooldown straight away and get the seekers back. Hardware is just a great set. It's been around a long time. It's been around forever, pretty much. Get our turret back. That guy is scaring me a little bit, that purple. He's gone, though. See if we can get both of these two. <laughs> the fireworks going off inside the building. So cool. I haven't done these, these control points for such a long time. It's actually quite refreshing. I'll throw this out there. What happens? Whoa, 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 bro. Where did you come from? The great thing is now... You know, we're not really stuck with the enemies because we can just cancel our our outside turret and get the seeker back straight away for some more damage. And then we're only a couple of seconds away, as you can see, from getting the turret back, which we need because obviously look who's here now as well. We're sticking with not using our gun. Language, please. What have we got here? Oh, this is the boss. All right. I think the boss is likely to going to take the longest kill. But so far, they're just doing a disco dance in front of my turret, so this is great. I'm not going to cancel the turret for now and flip the hard wired on because we're doing good damage right here, so there's not much point. Yeah, we got this easy. Boom, baby. Now I probably, instead, so I made a mistake though, as you see, I, I picked up, I don't want to be in front of these red barrels, uh, I picked up my turret instead of cancelling it to get the hardwired bonus. But it doesn't matter because when you throw it, you get it as well, so. Oh, 
Well, what are we left here? The one just outside there, maybe? Oh, he's over there. I jump down. He's hiding from me. He's like, I'll stretch this video out for you for them YouTube ads, bro. Don't worry. What's he doing? Ah, oh, he's almost dead. So tempting just to shoot him up, isn't it? And there we go. Control point cleared. Now we'll have the uh, the reinforcements. This should be much more straightforward. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually shoot that because I want rid of it. Let's do me in. So the question is, which way are they coming from? So I'm going to throw this out. It's going to give me my seekers back. The explosive delivery hasn't paid too much dividends, which I could have used it actually. I could have thrown the explosive delivery, you know, much, much closer. That really does depend on which, um, you know, kind of control point you're using. I was a bit too eager there, as always. Let's back out. Are they just kind of chilling over there? They don't want to come and fight me? Come on, come and fight me. Come close to my exploding turret. Please. Are you really going to roll into it? Detected. Location. Guarded by hostiles. Out. We can definitely get these two again, hopefully. Ah, oh, we missed him. Seekers are so great. Now they're coming in here because they want some more fun with me. Oh, why didn't you get double bubble then? Show yourself. There we go. And bye. Nice and easy. Get it there. Is he the last guy? I think he is. One more. Oh, there is. Hostiles guarding location nearby. Oh, I missed the explosive delivery again. Man, I need to use use that more. Get better with uh, using the explosive delivery for sure. No, this is a great chance for it. Go on. Got him. Oh, I didn't get him. Come on, man. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. And you can already see, like, you know, this will be... If you're using your capacitor, how much quicker this would be, like, you know. This is silent. Finish him, turret. Come on. Do the work. Do the work. Do the work. One more shot. Come on. You got it. There we go. <laughs> it got me a Riker's headshot kill. Detected. Nearby location. Guarded by hostiles. Oh, I was going to say that the red barrel's next to me. That's dangerous. Oh, oh, oh. Serious trauma detected. It's all dead. We got you now. Bye. Oh, forgot left. There can't be much left now. I'm gonna try and take them from the. Top out, Let's risk it for a biscuit. Oh, he's right there. Hostiles guarding location nearby. I can take it. Stay here. Gotta find a better spot. Oh, 
Is that, look at that person hiding down there. Please tell me that's when I kill him this time. Oh my. Still not killed him. Let's, let's, let's go to this guy first. Wow, language. Whoa, 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 I'm skill building. You really want to kill me? Detected. Enemy location. Gone by hostiles. Heavily armored. Hostile detected. Oh, we got the boss left. Here they come. Put that there. Because we definitely want we need damage. And lots of it. Oh see we made good use of the explosive delivery there twice in a row. Which is good. We'll do the same again now for this. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Four seconds and we can use the explosive delivery again. I was trying to bleed me. Nice, nice, nice. Kurt's putting in the work. Don't run away. Man, he ran away from my explosive delivery. I'll put it up here. No, I want to put it down there actually. There's, I accidentally put it in the wrong place. He just stood chilling. And my gun doesn't want to shoot him. This is the weirdest thing ever. I've never, see, I've never, ever, ever seen a turret do that before. Oh, I missed. Oh, I got, I got, yeah, I got it. So the heavies are what are really what takes the time, right? Because you've got the armor to jump through. But we're we're here now. We're doing it. Whoa, your language is horrible, pal. Nice. And there we go. Didn't fire a bullet. <laughs> That's really good. That's really, really good. So, yeah, if you want to do control points, sit back, easy, throw your skills and just chill. This is definitely a decent build to be doing that with. Now, here is the build that I put together. I'm not sure if it's exactly the same, but it's along, obviously, you know, the information that we got. So, Demolitionist, because we get explosive damage with that as well. I put the TDI custom card on. Uh, we have a skill tier on this and Future Perfect, so you can get some overcharge if you wanted to as well. Um, you could also say as well, so I've got six yellows here. So you could drop a yellow if you're going to keep the card on because you get a skill tier from that as well. So that's great. We're using four hardwired. We're using the mask, giving us skill haste, skill damage and repair skills that we're not using. But then we're getting feedback loop. Whenever you use or cancel a skill, your other skills cooldown is automatically reduced by 30 seconds while increasing total skill damage uh, by 10% for 20 seconds. I wish they give that a little bit of a boost. Feedback loop can occur once every 20 seconds. Uh, and then basically I went down the, the whole path of putting skill tier, skill damage, and then skill haste in the mod slots. Uh, same with the gloves. I went skill tier and skill damage. Uh, knees, skill tier and skill damage. And then with the backpack, uh, skill damage and skill haste. And we get the short circuit uh, talent 
uh, that he talks about as well decreases the feedback loop cooldown from 20 seconds all the way down to 10 which basically you know that's kind of works out that you know you never you never really sat waiting too long there's a few seconds weren't there sometimes for my turret cooldown but even if you you know you you just did skill after skill after skill that cooldown is really really low if you actually hit that uh, then the waveform which gives us skill tier skill damage and skill haste uh, with the talent that generates a stack of 3% skill damage on one of your skills every second. Caps at 10 stacks. After 10 seconds at the cap, the stacks transfer to the other skill and it just repeats over and over again. And then the chess piece, which is what I had to farm for because it's the China light chess piece. One piece has 15% explosive damage, obviously to, to work with our seekers. Uh, and he also did mention actually that if he fights Black Tusk, he sometimes uses the Sticky Grenade because the Sticky Grenade can one-shot dogs, which is really, really nice. Uh, you see, I didn't actually optimize this, but I had skill haste and I was just short 1.5% on skill damage with explosive delivery. That As long as you're... I always forgot about explosive delivery quite a bit, but you just got to make sure you're actually utilizing it. Whenever you throw a skill 1.5 seconds after landing, it creates an explosion damaging enemies within 5 meters. The damage scales with skill tier from 25 to 100% to 100 uh, damage of the concussion grenade uh, at most once per skill. So yeah, really, really, really nice piece. If I was going to change anything at all in here, I'd probably drop out the holster uh and maybe put in a wyvern instead that would probably be the only change that i would make um because this obviously is only ever affecting one skill at once and if that skill's on cooldown but i mean i used to use this all the time anyway i'm really i'm being extremely picky uh when i was when i'm saying what i'm what i'm saying you know so uh yeah it, it's really great if you were looking at my stats you can see here the seeker mine has 83 percent skill haste 27 percent uh 27 second cooldown uh, 3 million damage with 10 mines which is really really nice and if we were to look at the turret itself you see again 13 seconds on cooldown and 125k damage really nice really good build and yeah really smart and this is obviously a perspective that we very very rarely see a lot of people you always see you know running around in the comments saying the devs don't play their own game well clearly they do and this builds a good build like we can't take that away this is a really good build it does the job and yeah you know the the directive was clear new york control points without firing a bullet and it absolutely does that and if i was firing bullets and i was using my card and i was using my capacitor it would be even better you know because we would be doing way more damage from the stacks from the capacitor we'll be getting overcharge uh, from using future perfect it would be way way better so it absolutely hits the nail on the head great build and yeah great to have that kind of communication with the devs you know and uh, yeah to me it's interesting in, in what they use and what they play with let me know what you think in the comments down below would you change anything don't forget to like share comment and subscribe be sure to check out my video from yesterday for the fifth birthday for the division so we're actually featured in an Ubisoft video for the very first time, which was crazy good. I'm still bouncing off the ceiling about that as well. Have a good weekend, agents. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and consider joining the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.